Hey everybody, we're firing up. Uh, we're going to be doing the Devourer Below, which is the final mission of Midnight. <coughs> sorry, of um, the Return to Night of the Zealot uh, after Night of the Mask or Night of the Masks, Midnight Masks. There it is. Uh, either way, uh, so we're doing Devourer Below. We're going to place this down. We're going to click Build. We did our upgrades before. Uh, and then we're going to come over to here. Uh, here we go. Return to rules. So when gathering the encounter kits, get this instead and swap to that. When choosing the woods, put four into play at random. Include the four new ones as possible. So there's a total of six. So t uh, ten total. And then we're just going to pick four. So we have this. Uh, whoop. Not in our hand. Silly. And we'll slide this down and we'll just put the four into play like so. I uh, try to get it into a slot, and then these six are going to get removed from the game. We don't look, so we don't know which is which. Uh, after setting Umerdhoth enemy aside, flip this card over and attach to him. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, then we have this, we have this, everything else is good, uh, for each. Okay, so we're supposed to shuffle this and take one, we don't know which, and shuffle that. And that's part of the setup over here. So if we go into this, you'll see, uh, choose the four woods, we added the extra ones. And then these say, of the four encounter sets, only pick the one. So we've done that, we'll leave the other three in the bag. Uh, we had all six, or zero cultists got away, so no changes are made. We're going to add a elder thing to the bag, so we just click this, and you'll see it adds in. Then we head over to here. Uh, it is not past midnight, so we don't discard cards, but the ghoul priest is still alive, so we're going to have to shuffle him into the encounter deck. Which, this is the first time I've ever brought the uh, ghoul priest all the way through to the end, so. Uh, we'll shuffle him in. Uh, nothing here says about changing his spawn location. Remember the last one, it was told to spawn at the house. Uh, and then that's this. So we'll just play. Uh, we'll check this to make sure there's nothing in here that we missed. Uh, yep, we did not, so that's fine. Okay, so we are good to go. We'll shuffle this one more time. Uh, what else is in here? That's these things. Oh, we were supposed to add this, but we did it that way. Oh, and then this is the... Uh, the people that we could have fought in the Midnight Masks, but since we found them all, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, so we're not going to be using our Shrewd Analysis, because we realized that none of the cards that we could possibly upgrade to are legal for Daryl. Uh, so we'll do our Mulligan. So you'll see here we have some neat cards that we added in with our experience that we gained. Um, so we definitely don't want to keep uh, Brute Force, because that was mostly uh, intended to be to help with damage. And then both I've Got a Plans are the same. Shortcut's super cool, but we'll try to draw it later. Uh, Sharp Vision's super neat. Uh, I love this card. Um, I found it when, when I was playing with Vincent, um, and I don't know why I haven't been playing it before. Uh, I make basic investigations all the time, and it's a great way to get extra clues. I think it's because most of the people that I played as survivors that were intended to be clue getters, like Stella, I played before uh, Dream Eaters came out, uh, or before like. So when I was playing, I was playing with legal cards only from sets that were released. And so I played Stella in TFA, and I played Stella as an investigator um, to get to fight with in Carcosa. So, um, this is just a super neat card and I like it a lot. But we're going to draw four more. Uh, this is another card that we got from our uh, experience. It's called Gumption. It reduces the skill test by two. So, in conjunction with our Kodak and with our old keyring, we can now reduce the skill test by up to six. Um, and then with the old keyring, if we get the shrouded location uh, down to zero, we can get two clues. So, it's just another way to uh, pass tests. Uh, but we hit Dr. Milan, which is incredible. We love Dr. Milan. And we hit Scavenging, so now we can get items back. So, uh, And then this is the upgraded one. We spent our experience from the last one uh, to, do, to get this. When you get the item back from your discard pile, instead of adding it to your hand, you can actually play it so it saves you in action. So it's super uh, efficient. So this is a really strong hand for Daryl. Uh, we're pretty happy about it. Uh, head over here to Skids. Uh, so Skids has Charisma, so they can have two allies in play. Uh, as we remember, they still have Indebted, so they start with two less resources. Uh, and then we have in our Bonded cards here, we have Bloodlust. So it's Bonded to the Hungering Blade. 
which is a weapon. So we added another weapon to Skid's deck with our experience. Um, you can remove two offerings from the Hungering Blade. The way you get offerings with it is uh, by killing something. So basically, you have to have the Hunting Blood, or sorry, the Hungering Blade in play, and then kill something. You add an offering to it. If there's two offerings on it, when you draw the Bloodlust, what you can do uh, is uh, basically attach Bloodlust to the blade. Alternatively, it's going to deal horror to you and shuffle back into your deck. When you attack with it, um, you deal plus one damage for this attack, uh, but you have to shuffle this into your deck as well, uh, but you'll deal plus one damage for it. So you can stack these and get multiples, but you definitely do a bunch of extra damage with it. Uh, it's a cool card for skids, so I figured we'd try it. Um, but we'll draw a five. Okay, uh, so there's a bunch of cool cards here. Uh, unfortunately for us, um, we're not going to keep this, we're not going to keep this, we're not going to keep this. Uh, we're going to keep these two and hope to draw a weapon. Uh, we didn't hit a weapon, but we did hit some assets, and we hit a, uh, a tarot card. So we're going to start with Ace of Swords in play. So this combined costs three, four, five, six. Uh, normally we'd be able to just gain a resource and play it, but currently we're a little stuck. So, uh... Yeah, we're going to have to do something different. Uh, but we get a guaranteed uh, combat from the Ace of Swords. All right, uh, so we're ready to go. Oh, we both start here in the main path, which conveniently, uh, or, or rather inconveniently, has no clues. Uh, we have shuffled the encounter deck. Um, we have four d Agenda Doom, and six clues are needed. So we'll have uh, Skids go first. Uh, Skids will go searching to see if we can find a location with some information on it. After you enter this, you must test willpower. If you fail, you take a damage and a horror. Okay, well, uh, we're probably going to fail. We don't want to commit any cards, so we're minus two. We fail, so we take a damage and a horror. Uh, since we're the ones that are here, we intend to investigate this, so we'll just gain two resources so that next turn we can play Ever Vigilant and then pay uh, two, five, six for this all, and we'll get the extra one from the upkeep. Uh, so now it's uh, Daryl's turn, so Daryl will move down. We'll go to a different location. Uh, this location uses <laughs> willpower, uh, and these two are connected, uh, so that's a thing. Uh, all right. Well, willpower is super not great for us, uh, but we'll play Dr. Milan. Uh, which will give us intellect, uh, we can investigate at even. So we're going to do that, and we're going to take heart with the knowledge that we're going to fail, because as always, we know we can uh, commit take heart and guarantee a pass, right? All right, well, that is a fail, most likely. Uh, we'll check here. It's a minus three, so it is a fail. So we will instead gain two resources and draw two cards. One, two. Well, all things considered, that's pretty strong, uh, but that's all three actions, right? We moved, we played Dr. Milan, and then we investigated with take heart. Uh, so from there, we'll go to our upkeep. As we said before, we'll upkeep over here for uh, <clears throat> for skids, and then we'll put a doom on the agenda. Um, we've shuffled a bunch, but we'll shuffle once more, and then we'll draw an encounter card. So we must make a test here, and we'll take horror as the penalty. That's super not good, uh, and we really don't want to commit this, so we'll just test minus one. Uh, that's going to be the rest, so uh, there is not an Ancient One in play, uh, but you can't go below zero, so that's just the maximum of three, but that's really not good. It means we're cl really close to death. We need to get Lonnie down ASAP. All right, uh, we're going to make the same test over here. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to keep Gumption to pass this, uh, this test, so we're just going to test it. We're minus one. Oh, hey, look, we passed. I wish we could flip these reverses. These are these tests, but we can't. All right, uh, so we're going to investigate now. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to use our old key ring, even if we play it. Or actually, we could use that. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we'll play old key ring. Uh, we will investigate, and we'll reduce the shroud to zero. Yeah, that works. Uh, even though we get minus four, we stop at zero, so we pass, and then this just cares about the final difficulty, and so we get both clues. Uh, so the first action was to play the key ring. The second action was to investigate. We'll exhaust Milan to gain a resource. Um, and then we'll move back to the main path, looking to potentially go somewhere else. 
but that's cool. Uh, and then over here we have Skid's turn. Uh, as we planned, we are going to play Ever Vigilant. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, it, instead, we play three resources. Um, and we're going to play Lockpicks. We're going to play Lonnie to gain another one. And then we're going to play our Cigarette Case. Uh, so that's pretty strong. Um, we're now, we have some Horror Soak. We gain another combat. So we're, uh, all right. Oh, no, sorry. I already clicked it. It would be way better if we got both, right? Uh, but we'll take it. Uh, so action two, we're going to use our lock picks. Uh, so we are seven to four is plus three. Uh, we succeed, but we did not succeed by at least two, so we lose a supply, uh, which we are expecting, but that's okay. Uh, and then we have one action remaining, and we're going to gain a resource uh, because we want to be able to play cards later. All right, uh, so we'll go to upkeep. Uh, there's their blade, so there we go. We have our weapon, upkeep. Uh, Doom on the Agenda, and Encounter Card. We have a weapon. It must go to an empty location, and it must be the furthest away, so this is legal, so we'll do that. Uh, at the end of the Mythos phase, place a Doom on it. At the end of the enemy phase, Corpse Taker moves towards Rivertown or Main Path. If it's already there, then we move Doom from it. So we have an, a turn to deal with this effectively. Alright, and then we'll come over here. Uh, Ancient Evils, of course. Why wouldn't we do that? Um... Okay, uh, so there's no efficient way to go down there and deal with this, so we're going to have Daryl come over here. Uh, okay, great. Uh, we could heal a damage or horror, um, but there's no real reason to do that. Uh, so we'll play our scavenging, and uh, we will put an evidence on him with the Kodak. Um... And then we will draw a card. Okay. Uh, so now it's Daryl's turn. Uh, same as last turn, we'll exhaust our lockpicks uh, and investigate. We're plus three. Uh, that's minus two, and it places a doom on the nearest enemy, which is this one. But it is still a success. Um, and we lose a supply from our lockpicks. Uh, we'll gain a resource, and we'll play our Hungering Blade. So the Hungering Blade does plus one attack. It will, um, sorry, you get plus one for each card attached to it. It deals plus one damage, and then if it defeats an enemy, we put a resource on as an offering, and then as we said before, the offerings uh, are used to do either bonus damage later um, or to take the Bloodlust out of your deck. Uh, but that's our three cards. So then we go to the monster phase. This monster hunts. Uh, then we go to upkeep. <laughs> okay. Well, the good news is we don't have to pay for hospital debts because it's the final mission, so we don't have to worry about earning less experience. Uh, and then over here, uh, we must either draw two cards and place two Doom on the current agenda or take two Horror, so we always will choose Horror there. Uh, and throw that away. Um, oh, I skipped ahead. Uh, so we should, I drew encounter cards but forgot to advance the agenda, so let's do that. Uh, shuffle the discard pile and oh, all right. Well, oh, because I drew his hospital debts. Okay, I see what happened. Uh, so this is actually there, and instead I'm supposed to have done upkeep. <laughs> okay, uh, now I advance the agenda, uh, which is to shuffle the discard pile in and discard until we hit a monster and spawn it at the main path with a doom on it. Okay. Okay. That's not a monster, that's not a monster, that is, oh boy, uh, and he gets a doom. Well, that's also super not convenient. Okay. And then each enemy gets plus one fight and plus one evade. Well, that's a whole lot of not great for us. All right. Um, well, I think we wanted to have Daryl go. Um... But, yeah, nothing good can... He, they can't really do anything good, so... Oh, and then we can put it, uh, another thing on it. Um, See, so yeah, I guess we'll have Skids go first. Skids will go and get engaged by both monsters. Um... Oh, yeah. Uh, Skids will then attack with the blade. There is no bloodlust attached, so we're attacking five. Either way, it's to four. Oof. 
Um, no, there's no way. Skids can't go first. They'll just get killed. Uh, we'll have Bob go first then. Um, Alright, so what's Bob going to do? Bob's probably going to use Brute Force. Oh, he mulliganed it away. <laughs> okay. Uh, well then, let's draw a card. Okay. Um, we're definitely not going to be useful to do attacks with. Um, let's move into the location. Get engaged. I thought we had brute force. Oof. Okay. Uh, let's then evade. And we'll evade the Ithian Observer, so we're even. We'll commit Gumption to be plus one. We'll commit... Oh, sorry, plus two. And we'll commit uh, Eureka to be plus three. Okay, we succeed, and we get an asset, or an evidence. We'll put that on the Kodak. And then this says, after you discover clues... Okay, so we're not doing that. Uh, so we're going to evade him and leave him here. Um, and then... Uh, then we're going to shortcut and come down, or he's going to come with us, I guess. Uh, oh, and we get to evolve Eureka, resolve Eureka first. Uh, one, two, three. Well, we don't want that. Um, we'll take this. Uh, I was looking for brute force, but we didn't find it. Uh, but yeah, then we'll shortcut down, like I said. Uh, and split the monsters up a little bit. Uh, we'll have skids go, they'll move up, uh, and they will attack this guy. So they are plus one. That's a hit, that's a hit, and that's both actions. Okay. Uh, so from there, we'll go to upkeep. Perfect. Uh, upkeep. Oh, and this guy would have hit uh, one and two. So one and two. All right. Uh, this guy readies and... Ooh, okay. Well, I didn't mean to leave everything, but apparently we did. Uh, and then we'll put a doom on the agenda. Two of five. Oh, he has plus one attack. He's five, so those were both misses. Uh, okay. Well, then never mind that. Uh, we still made the evade. Alright. Um, and then encounter cards. Cannot play assets or events. Okay. Um, I don't think that we're going to be able to use our codec on that, so we won't use it for it. Test this. We must discard cards at random. We can definitely discard cards at random. And I don't want to waste any of the cards in my hand, so uh, let's test it at minus one. Minus two, so we'll discard two random cards. One, two. Okay. Uh, so we'll go first. We will evade. Um, we will... Oh, sorry, we're supposed to reveal this location when we enter it. That's fine. Uh, so we'll uh, do gumption to reduce this to a test of one, and we'll use uh, our ability uh, to make it a zero. So we succeed, so it's exhausted. Now we'll investigate the location. We'll use our old key ring. Uh, that's a success, but there is a monster, so we take a damage, but because it's this location, we have to pull a second token, so we will. Uh, so it's still a zero, so we succeed, so we lose this. Uh, but we succeeded. Oh, we did not succeed by two or more. Actually, we did, right, because that's minus three. Yeah, we were three to zero. Uh, so we'll check here for an item. Uh, this is an item, so we'll get it back with our scavenging. Uh, I'm going to elect not to play it, because I don't think I'm going to need to, and I might have to discard cards later. Uh, but we get both of the clues. Uh, this guy would have got a doom in the mythos phase. I forgot to do that. Um, so we evaded, then we did this. Uh, I feel like moving back to the center is a good idea. Uh, I could advance, but I don't really want to right now. Because uh, we have a bunch of problems over there. So, 
Unfortunately, none of these help with that. Oh, and then we, we, we did uh, successfully investigate this location while he was here. So we can add this to our Kodak from the bottom. After you discover any number of clues, move that many evidence on enemies or treacheries at that location to Daryl's Kodak. Um, okay, so we've done that. Uh, so now it's Skids' turn. Um, I mean, we'll go 6 to 5 is plus 1. We're not going to commit cards because we're pretty confident that we're not going to pass. Uh, we fail. We fight. I mean, I guess we'll evade at plus 1. And we'll succeed and gain 2 resources. 1, 2. Uh, and then we'll spend 2 resources to get an extra action and we'll use it to attack. Uh, and that's a fail because, as we said, um, he has 5 because of the agenda. Uh, although we did have succeed the uh, evade by enough to draw a card with our cigarette case, so we will. <laughs> okay. Thanks, game. <laughs> so it's uh, take a horror and shuffle it back. <laughs> oh, skids. All right. Uh, so this monster will ready, and we'll do upkeep. This monster will ready. Uh, we'll actually have it go to uh, Daryl, because Daryl's probably better to deal with it. Bear will do upkeep. Okay, uh, Doom on the agenda, four of five, and encounter cards. Uh, we will, oh Jesus. Um, this effect can cause the agenda to advance. Uh, no, we'll just throw Lonnie. We, we definitely just can't, can't do that. Okay, test willpower, discard cards at random, uh, so we'll test. Uh, we pass, that's fortunate. All right, so uh, oh, we can't even afford the B-Cop. All right, well, we'll gain a resource and play B-Cop, because we need to start dealing damage to this guy. Uh, this friend here would get another Doom. Uh, we'll exhaust B-Cop to deal a damage to itself, to deal a damage to the Ithian. And then uh, we'll attack at even. Uh, and that'll put another Doom on this guy. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we'll have Daryl evade. The evade is at even. Uh, we'll go to plus two. We succeed. Uh, and then... We can draw cards looking for I've got a plan. I feel like that's going to be better than any of our other alternatives. So let's draw and draw. Uh, we didn't hit any of the good things. Uh, this guy will hunt, so he'll come up here. Uh, he'll go to us, and he'll deal one and two. And then we'll go to upkeep. Um, we'll discard this. Upkeep, uh, this guy readies and comes back to Daryl. All right, and this is a May, right? Oh, it's just, uh, sure, I think we still need to wait. Uh, we did upkeep, this goes away. Uh, Doom in the agenda and advance. Play your order, test six. If you fail, you must get a basic Magnus weakness. Okay, well, uh, we're minus four here, so we're probably gonna fail. We do, but we do, so we don't gain the resources. And then over here, uh, we're minus four, and I just don't want to even try. Oh, we could have probably done it if we committed one card and then played lucky, but okay. So we have to find a basic madness weakness, so we're just going to do random basic weakness until we find one with a madness, okay? That goes to, uh, to the lead investigator, because we're just going to go in order. So that's, um... Uh, that'll go to skids, and then this is going to go to... Uh, Daryl. Okay. Cool. So this couldn't have been worse. Uh, so uh, this goes into play. Daryl cannot parlay, draw, or investigate more than once per turn. Uh, over here, we're going to discard all but one card, which is terrible because we have a ton. Um, of all these cards, uh, well, we can get this back with uh, scavenging. We don't need two scavengings. Uh, luckily, or we're probably just not going to ever get a chance to do that. We don't need this because we have this on loop. 
So it's either retest plus two or gain plus two. We have plenty of money, so let's do this one. Okay, uh, so that's been resolved. All right, uh, and now they get, they lose that. Um, if it is act one, put the ritual site into play and set Armadhoth there. If it's two or three, discard all enemies at the ritual site and spawn Armadhoth there. Okay, uh, and now encounter cards. <laughs> Immediately ancient evils. Game loves us. Okay, and the ghoul priest. Let's <laughs> let's have a party, everybody. All right. Uh, so uh, <laughs> let's um, let's draw cards with skids, trying to find something helpful. It's not really helpful. That's kind of helpful. Uh, we're really trying to find Lita. Okay, we didn't. Uh, so we can't spend resources. So that's that. We'll use our ooh, we'll use our beat cops ability to do another damage to our friend over there. Uh, in an effort to try to get him get him dead, this guy gains a doom. Uh, all right, uh, let's start by evading the ghoul priest. Oh, we succeed! Awesome, and we get evidence. All right, uh, let's try to evade the Yithian observer. Hey, we get evidence and succeed. All right. Um, this does three. Um, yeah, let's just evade this guy too. Uh, so we'll play lucky and succeed. All right, so we bought a turn. Um, go to the monster phase, they're all exhausted, so we'll go to upkeep, of course. Remove four evidence from cards you control, and then take horror for the ones that you cannot. So we'll lose Dr. Milan. Actually, no, we'll keep Dr. Milan. We'll just take the two horror, which puts us almost dead, but we lose all the evidence that we just gained. Oh, and then we would have put evidence, I guess, on the ghoul priest. Uh, and this guy had evidence. Okay. Um, okay, and then I'll keep for... Him. Okay, well that's good. Maybe now we can kill something and uh, reduce our need to deal with things this way. All right, uh, Doom on the agenda and encounter cards. Okay, he's just here. And here. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's death. Yep. So Daryl dies, so these guys will just come over here. And uh, that's probably just game, because uh, the clues get dropped to the location, but there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, so I think we're just dead there. Um, we treaded water a little bit. I was trying to find Lita so I could advance and throw her to Ermardhoth, but that's not even going to be an option, I don't think, anymore. I think we're just going to die here. Um, but all right, uh, let's try to... Um, Let's try to go. Uh, so, all right. Uh, this guy has four. Uh, so let's instead. We have so many problems right now. Um, and you are elite. You are not. You are not. And you are not. All right. So we're going to play this. Uh, non elite enemies cannot attack us. So he's the only one that will be attacking us this turn. Uh, then we will play, take the initiative, and we will, um, or, yeah, we'll play take the initiative and attack on the Athean Observer. Uh, he's lost his plus one fight, so he's only four, so we're, uh, oh, this is back to five, because Beat Cop's in play. Uh, and so we'll do that. Uh, so we are eight to four, so we're plus four. So we'll attack. That's a success. There is a monster at our location, so we take a damage, but he takes a damage. Um, that's action one. Action two, uh, we'll do vicious blow and quick thinking on corpse taker. 
uh, we succeed, and we succeed by enough. I uh, will put the doom on the corpse taker, uh, but we succeed by enough to get our action back, which is important, and we do an extra damage, so we do two. Uh, so, uh, sorry. We have attacked, we have attacked, but we get our action back. So we'll attack again. Uh, we are... Yeah. Okay, we succeed now. Uh, so he'll die, and then we're going to put a charge on the Hungering Blade for having killed him. Uh, and then we will evade or attempt to on the Ghoul Priest. Oh, and we actually would have drawn with Lucky Cigarette Case. Uh, odds of evading are pretty low, but if we don't, we lose. Oh, we should have evaded with Take the Initiative then. Uh, wow, we're so bad. Uh, sure, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a fail. Uh, or I guess even if we kill this guy as a fast, uh, it's still going to be a fail. And then we get attacked by the ghoul priest, and we die. So, that's it. All right. Uh, well, we were trying to find Lita so we could throw Lita to Ermodhoth, and she wasn't coming up anytime soon. Uh, we got overwhelmed by way too much uh, monsters. This was really more about Skid's inability to clear monsters. Um, so... Uh, yeah, this is another weapon we added. We added weapons to his deck and just uh, couldn't win a lot of tough pulls. Lita was near the end. Oh well, uh, so resolution uh, from not, not having people is going to be to lose the campaign. Uh, Arkham su succumbs to Ermod Hall's terrible vengeance. There was no surviving investigators, um, and we lose. So... That's it. Uh, we'll see everyone tomorrow for the return to Dunwich. Uh, I'll try to find a more successful uh, combat monster or combat person than Skids. Uh, he definitely was lackluster. I see why he's rated so low by everybody. Um, he's kind of like a jack of all trades. He's good at doing everything a little bit, but he's not good at doing any one thing well. And especially in two player, where you really need to be able to handle monsters, uh, he just was ineffective and inefficient. So. Oh well, uh, the lesson was learned to uh, not play skids in two-player, uh, and probably not really ever. I think you could probably just play a better rogue. Uh, I've heard people say that his uh, alternative parallel investigator is better, and maybe we'll try that next. Uh, but for now, uh, we tried him like this, and it did not work. So, hope everyone has a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.